what's up and welcome back to Interpreting the Stars, where today I have a brand new family film to talk to you guys about, just released over on Paramount Plus, and it's a live action adaptation of the classic children book series, Clifford the Big Red Dog. The Big Red Dog is about Clifford, a big red dog, who finds his home with Emily, a young girl who spends a lot of her time being lonely since her mom is a very busy paralegal and her uncle Casey, he's just a big old goofball. But when she finds a little red puppy, she vows to take care of it. That is until she wakes up the next day and it's now a really big dog, which garners the attention of a local laboratory currently working out different theories on how to naturally and organically grow food to feed a hungry world. When they see Clifford on the news, they see him as the answers that they've been looking for, and they plan to take the dog from the girl for evil experimentations. Even though I read a few Clifford books here and there as a kid, I can't really say that it was my jam, but I did know of the character in general, and this film is essentially exactly as you might imagine it to be. You know, it's a cute, innocent, wholesome family film that I would imagine more kids would be more entertained by than their accompanying adults. But there are a couple of jokes here and there that the adults will get a kick out of as well. When I originally saw the trailers to this movie, there was something about the way that Clifford looked to me that kind of felt fake other than being really big and red. I don't know if it was the graphics of the dog's design, if it was the realistic eyes versus what the cartoon would do, which would basically give the dog human eyes, or if my problem lied more with some really subtle shading that felt wrong in combination with the surrounding world. I can say though that the finalized film on its own was better than what I felt like the trailers were, so I didn't mind it, especially with all the big dog hijinks that everybody runs into. The plot of the film feels very much inspired by E.T., extraterrestrial. You know, a strange creature makes its home with a young kid, some funny fish-out-of-water scenarios ensue, all the while a government agency of some sort is trying to snatch up the creature for scientific exploration. At the same time, though, I understood the scientists here. While they were all kind of goofy characters, at the heart of their operation, they were trying to find a solution to end world hunger. Yet they're also the bad guys. I found that to kind of be interesting because at the end of the day, yes, a kid's movie apparently always needs to have their own bad guy. But also, if the bad guy does go down by the end of this movie, you know that they don't end up solving world hunger. Honestly, that kind of made me think a little bit, even though it wasn't a huge focus, because I always like a good villain that has a relatable ideal in correlation with a questionable tactic in order to reach their goal. And the character played by Tony Hale here meets those expectations, even if he is a bit of a Gargamel from the Smurfs movie type of character on the outside. Overall, it's definitely not a bad movie if you're sitting there watching it with kids. I watched it with my own kids, and one of them constantly said, that's a big dwaki over and over again, while my other one said, I want a big red dog. And honestly, at the end of the day, I feel like the film succeeded in what they were going after, if that's how my kids reacted to it. So keep that in mind as we go over my final score for a second, starting with my unbiased technical rating. The biggest thing that this film has going for it is obviously the big red dog, right? While some other visuals are questionable at times, that big red dog was always the biggest focus. And it's honestly not bad for a dog that looks like it swims around in a vat of ketchup all day. The film also does have an okay focus on diversifying its characters since some are just the silliest of characters. An old lady that's obsessed with her cans of sweetened condensed milk, while one of the neighbors is obsessed with badly set up magic tricks. So I did appreciate that, but pretty much the rest of the movie is business as usual for a kid's movie. This score is 70%. As for how I personally felt about the film as a whole, or my bias score, that pretty much should agrees with the unbiased score because I did have an okay time with the movie. I was engaged throughout while watching and I wouldn't mind seeing it again sometime down the line, but I'm not clamoring over myself to buy it, put it that way. So it's entertaining enough, but just only enough. This score is 72%, meaning that when we combine the two scores together, we come to the final rating of 71%. 71 out of 100 possible stars or a letter grade of B minus. Have you guys seen Clifford the Big Red Dog? And if so, let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. And as for YouTube, you guys know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button, and bell to be notified when I come up with my next review. And until then, peace out. Dave examines movies. We just watch for fun. Davey is the expert. He is the number.